Here's how to set a loop on any track in Rekordbox DJ and have that loop trigger automatically when the track reaches it. It's called an active loop and you set it in this way. So I'll use an example track here to explain why you might want to do this at the same time. This is a classic old house track ripped from my vinyl many years ago and it starts off with a nice mixable section. You easily mix this in over something else but then it goes really full on. So what I'm doing here is looking for a point to mix out from because I've already looked at the end and the end has got all the music going on, vocals, and a fade. So I can't mix out at the end, so I'm looking for somewhere to mix out from. This is typically what you do in your hotel room or in your uh, on the plane or whenever you're on the way to a gig getting your set ready. I'm just meticulously looking for somewhere I could possibly loop and mix out from. Oh look, there's some beats here. This is useful, this is really useful. There's a little section here with just beats. I could easily beat mix over the top of that into a new track. Trouble is, before long, we're back into the music. So this is my kind of gateway into the next track, just this little section here. So how good would it be to put a loop on that and have that trigger automatically every time I play this track? We're four minutes in, the track's kind of done its thing, right? Well, you can do it and this is how. So here's our beat section starting. Let's set an eight beat loop. Sounds fine, apart from the scratches on the original record, of course. But there we go, there's an 8-beat loop. So we're going to assign that to a cue point. If your hot cues aren't showing here, you can select them from here. Select hot cue, assign it to a cue point. Now here's the key. This little arrow here in orange has got set active loop written by it. And that will set this loop as what's called the active loop. And the little arrow will go red. I've clicked it and there we go, it's gone red. So that means that this loop now is always going to trigger on its own without anyone touching anything whenever you play this track in Box, which is really cool because it saves you having to worry about the track accidentally playing past this point into this big area here where the music all comes back and it would make it harder to mix from. So to demonstrate this, let's turn that off. That loop is not switched on anymore and the track's playing on past there. Let's imagine we were in the mix now and I'm gonna move my cue point to just before this would turn on automatically to about here. So we're in the mix, we're waiting on the other deck to mix something else in, and our track is playing up to the active loop. Remember this is gonna turn on automatically. I'm not touching anything here. Here we go, it's appearing now. There you go, you see how that turned on? It just turned itself on when Box reached there, and now it's gonna loop away forever and ever and ever, giving us minutes if we want to do our thing and mix out of this track over the top of. So that's how to set an active loop. That's how to make a loop turn on automatically whenever you load a track in Rekordbox DJ. So if you've liked this, please like it, share, follow, do all those good things, and we'll see you again very soon for another Tips and Tricks here on Digital DJ Tips.